Stephanie Pepper. We're with the Pet Ventures oh, bus. Uh, what is, oh. Take your shoes off. Come on in. I'm supervising. We're still converting it. Um, so we've been on the road full time for two and a half years. Um, and this is our little home sweet home. So the front area is just like the living space is where we spend most of our time hanging out. I got a, a hammock that I put up there. Maybe we can take that out and give it a look. But we actually just did this a couple weeks ago. So got some, uh, you know, your favorite junk drawer. Yeah, everybody's got one. Everybody's got a junk drawer. And then we actually hit our trash can, which is awesome. We have a big trash can. I have a seven-year-old little girl, so we uh, somehow <laughs> always have a ton of trash. Well, yeah. <laughs> and our kitchen, um, we've got some things that we want to add to it, you know? Like, when you're in a bus full-time, you kind of figure out, you know, what works, what doesn't work, and what you need and don't need. And so we're going to add some upper storage up here eventually, some cabinets, but... Yep. Like I said, we've been converting it. Since I like the copper there. look with the black sink. and Yeah, isn't that fun? And big sink, so you can put all your dishes in there. And Taylor did this himself, so we can kind of just like store away and hide it. Sure. Yep, use it as a cutting board, whatever. Um, love our fridge. Um, I don't know if you saw, but we actually have a, a separate fridge as well. That's a beer fridge. you got to have a separate fridge for the extra drinks. Sure. <laughs> But with another, you know, a kid, yeah, we got a pretty decent sized fridge. We keep it pretty stocked. So fridge up top, freezer down bottom. That's a nice fridge. Yeah. I don't that. think I've ever seen one quite that tall and that thin. Yeah, it's kind of fun. It's like retro-ish, but yeah. yeah, it's been kind of fun. It's, a, it's definitely like one of my dream fridges. So I'll probably, you know, if we ever move into another tiny space or something, I'll probably take this thing with me. I sure. love it so much. But yeah, we've got the propane stove. Um, love this. I'm always cooking, so we use the heck out of our oven. Yeah, I've got an RV stove that, if I want to roast a chicken, it's mm. going to be a tight fit. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have roasted a chicken in this thing. Yeah. <laughs> For Christmas this past year, actually. It was my my first ever chicken that I roasted, and I was like, how awesome, like, to do this inside of a school bus, right? Sure. And yeah. with the roof raise, it gives it gives the feeling of a lot more space. Yeah, so he did a 20-inch roof raise. We, we did it ourselves. It was a lot of work. It was definitely <laughs> a labor of love, but um, worth it, you know. It, it definitely slowed down the building process, and it's a pretty big chunk of change, but I oh, never yeah. feel like... It, sometimes you'll mistake it for an apartment, you know, like you never feel like you're claustrophobic sure. at all. And you got room for a hammock. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and um, yeah, we got a, we have a flip down table here, so this flips down. I think we're going to change these out pretty soon and do like some foldable chairs and then I can kind of like really tuck them away and open up the space. But yeah, we actually commissioned somebody to do this and love it. I just love staring at it. We, yeah. we got married on the black sand beach in Hawaii and wanted oh. to kind of bring a piece of that inside. Our yeah. home, so it's been fun. Everybody loves yeah, it. Like so the, when it's down, it's like an art piece. The turtles and the rays and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's beautiful. a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, we sit here and eat breakfast and drink our coffee if we're not outside, and it's awesome. We always try to make sure we have the views out this window. It's a, it's a pretty big window. You know, it's funny, like, when you're in the school buses that have all the windows, and when you don't have that, you're like, oh, gosh, I wish I had that. And then people come in here, and they're like, Oh, this is so nice. It's so funny, like hearing all yeah. the different ways people do it. But and then, um, yeah, this is so our wheel well. Um, we had to deal with the wheel wells having a flat nose, and so you kind of have to get creative, like what you're gonna do over those. And so we just raised since we did the roof raise. We're like, well, let's just do storage under here. So this is actually like all my dry storage, all my, dry oh, food, yeah. my pantry. Good idea. Just did, like some magnets, earth magnets, and kind of fun i don't know if we're going to change that up but it works for now and then we yeah we did the long hallway um the bathroom's not done yet but i think it's still fun to take a peek at it and you know but it's storage right now we have sure. the toilet the outdoor shower but um it's gonna have the skylight i'm gonna tile the whole thing and do a wet bath so it's gonna be a massive bathroom. Well, I'll have to catch up to you the next time. I know, time. We'll check it out, right? We'll do an upgrade tour, or right? update tour. Yeah, for sure. And then we did a washer dryer combo, um, which has been really nice. It it does, it doesn't really use that much water. It's pretty water efficient, but as far as the dry goes, 
it sucks down power and <laughs> we have a good amount of power but if we're plugged in we'll use it now how much solar yeah. do you have we have 2050 i think okay. 2050 watts um and then we did um we did a six we have six lithium batteries 138 amp hours a piece but we did 24 volt so obviously right. that's in half and then um, my daughter, seven-year-old, she's got she's got a bunk room here, so she's got the the little space, her little own yep. you know, piece of the and a cool ladder to get there. up. Yeah, he kind of handmade that, and who knows how much this is gonna change. We're you know still kind of working on it, but she loves it. She goes down there, she plays, she brings her friends over, and she's just a regular old kid. You yeah, know? everybody wants a hidey hole growing up. Yeah, I know. I I wanted. She wanted a bunk, you know, and I was like, okay, look, we do the roof raise, we can definitely do the bunk, you know. We thought about doing the bunk at the front, and then, I don't know, yeah, things seem to just kind of change and you roll with it. Yep. But, um, and then this is our room. We did um, built-in storage all through this, so um, I have my suitcase. I travel a lot for work, so I have to have a suitcase, dog food, dog toys, bunch of stuff, you know, all stored down there. And then we did the dog kennel underneath, so we have mm -hmm. a we have the big old German Shepherd. She ends up on the bed. <laughs> she sleeps she does. on the bed, but this is nice. Like when people are over, we can tuck her away, and sure. she cannot be all up in everybody's face. And then we I think we did that the we would have used that for my brother. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I put my husband in here when he's in trouble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sleeping Locking in the doghouse really mean. Yeah. Sleeping in the doghouse, yeah. <laughs> A little bit of a tight squeeze. I won't tell him you said that. Bodhi actually does get in here quite often, my daughter, and she has a really good time like snuggling up with the dog in there. It's cute. Yeah. All the little places you can hide, you know? Um, but yeah, queen size bed. We did all of our, we have 140 fresh gallon. I was just saying, I must have hit yeah. something with my elbow. <laughs> we did 140 fresh water um, gallon tank, and then all of our uh, electrical is also underneath there. Sure. So, kind of gave ourselves a little bit of height. We ran all of our power down the sides underneath that, so we can always take that off. And we've had to, like, we just added the Starlink uh, a year ago or so, and he just ran the wire, you know, because he can get to all of it. So it's kind of. I was just telling somebody a couple tours back about how I've seen Starlink around here so much this year. Yeah. That there's no problem connecting up to the cell towers. Oh no, not at all. I, ha you I know, have. You know, the to last. Be all the schoolie paloozas, I've been to everyone except for the first one. Yeah. And we've always had trouble connecting because there's so many people and only a few towers. Yeah. And now I'm watching videos any time I want oh, yeah. and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I work full time, so I have to be plugged into the internet. Yeah. So we can go somewhere and won't have a single cell signal, like whatsoever. And I'm plugged in, I'm doing oh, yeah. it's, video It's been a game changer for all of us. All so. of us, yeah, for sure. You have a beautiful bus, Thank even so though much. if it isn't quite done. It's, yeah. It's, it's way yeah, more done than a lot of buses. So. Yeah, yeah. It's it's quite a, a different, um, you know, brings a la different layer of challenges when you're building and traveling at the same time. Oh, yeah. And sometimes we've, you know, we're, we're having so much fun and enjoying the adventure that projects wait, you know, and sure. then, and then you just start it and you do it and it's like, that was not difficult at all. Like we just needed to get started. But the fact that you have to bring down all the tools and, you know, it gets messy and everything's everywhere for a few days while you're doing the project, but yep. it's all worth it. It's like, so little by little, we're going to, we're going to be completely done. <laughs> yep. That's, it's good wor yeah. uh, words to live by for people building buses. Like, yeah. Just keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Don't look at the whole the whole bus. Look at yeah. this project. Just concentrate on one project. Yeah, one thing at a time. Get it done, and then you'd be surprised how fast you can get a bus built. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. well, thank you for the tour. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah.